we've shown you how to grow salad basics and root vegetables from scraps over the last few weeks, now it's time to get fruity. Some you can grow from scraps, some you'll need plants or seeds for, and some you might need to wait for a tree to grow. But today I'm going to talk you through three fruits that are easy to grow at home, they'll cut down on trips to the supermarket and give you the satisfaction of eating food that you've grown yourself. First up, who fancies rhubarb crumble? Rhubarb is a really easy to grow plant that will produce loads of tasty stalks once it's established. Start with what's known as the crown. It's basically the root, but you can order rhubarb crowns online or pick them up at garden centres. It's best planted in early spring. So firstly, dig a hole in your soil that's a little bit larger than the crown and pop in plenty of garden compost. Sit the plant into the hole with the top of the crown about level with the soil surface. Fill around the roots with soil and then gently firm it down. If you do more than one, then make sure you allow plenty of room between them. Keep it well watered and it'll also love being given some general purpose plant fertiliser early in its growth. Now if you're hungry, hold your horses, leave the stalks and leaves to develop for the first summer without pulling any up. Now this allows the plant to become really well established so that it will produce a really good crop of rhubarb stems for years to come. And finally, while the stalks are delicious, never ever eat the leaves, they're poisonous. Strawberries are easy to grow whether you're a keen gardener or just looking for something fun to do with the kids. You can plant them in spring or autumn and you'll be able to harvest your own tasty strawberries from late spring to early summer. You can grow strawberries in both beds or in pots but they always need plenty of sunshine. Prepare the ground by turning plenty of compost through your soil, then plant your strawbs so that the roots are just below the surface but they're not too close to the next plant. Strawberries really like to spread out so keep them at least a foot apart. Water them lots as they're growing and if they're in planters make sure that the planter drains well. You'll find that the plants will flower and then eventually those flowers will bear fruit. Wait until the berries are fully red before harvesting them. Simply pinch through the stalks with your finger and thumb to avoid bruising the fruit. Finally, the good old British raspberry is the perfect addition to cakes, meringues, summer drinks or even jams. A punnet can be pricey but they're pretty easy to go in your garden and the plants could last you up to 10 years. They start as canes, basically a bare looking root and stalk and the best time to plant them is in autumn or early winter. They really like well-drained soil with plenty of compost and sunshine. Soak the roots of your canes in water and plant 18 inches to 2 feet apart in a row. If you want to have more than one row, then make sure you keep the rows at least a metre apart. Cover over the roots with about 5 centimetres of soil, cover and water well. Keep the compost moist and feed with a liquid general purpose fertiliser on a monthly basis during the growing season. Now, In hard water areas, you'll need to try and use harvested rainwater. Some raspberries are ready for summer and some varieties aren't ready until autumn. Make sure you pick them on a dry day. You can eat them fresh, you can freeze them or you can make them into preserves. So there you go, three fruits you can grow in your garden. It's time to get planting.